Este 11 de abril se estrena la tercera temporada de la mejor precuela de todos los tiempos, Better Call Soul, y para hablar de ella tenemos a sus protagonistas, Jimmy y Kim, o como les conocen en su casa, Bob Odekirk y Ray Sheehorn. Bob, Ray, thank you so much for coming. Uh, you know, for us, this is such an honor. This is a party day, so thank you so much. We really love the show, so thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having us. Oh, thank Movie you. Star Plus yeah. and everybody in Madrid has been so lovely. I've never been to Spain, so it's awesome. Thank oh, that, you. <laughs> that's great. And we're going to start with your characters because, you know, for some people, uh, Jimmy is such a nice guy, you know, and honest lawyer. And mm -hmm. some people think he's quite shameless, but you know him better than anybody else. So how would you describe him? Uh, I think he is, uh, he is a good person and he, is a great, he has a great desire to connect with people and to find his place in the world, but his talents lead him into uh, nefarious situations. So it's a very strange uh, struggle within him. Mm -hmm. And then we've got Kim uh, Wexler. This is a, such a smart and tough woman. Uh, but, you know, to be honest, we are kind of worried about her because we think that Jimmy is going to take her. We think <laughs> Jimmy is going to take her to the, room, uh, to the dark side. Mm. Um, what can you tell us about this? Well, uh, I do think that Kim uh, keeps having to move that line in the sand. Do you have a phrase for that here where... Um, your breaking point of what you'll accept and won't accept keeps moving as, as she progresses trying to negotiate this relationship with Jimmy and also the legal relationship at the firm they now have. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we, you have a lot of experience as, as a writer, as a mm -hmm. screenwriter, so yes. everybody was wondering if, uh, I don't know, uh, did you ever feel like writing one episode? Yeah, uh, no. I <laughs> don't want to help. I refuse to help. Uh, I. I I spent most of my life writing comedy uh, for Saturday Night Live and many shows that I created in America and enjoyed that very much. So acting came late and drama acting came late to me. And I think I'm better at acting when I haven't helped with the writing because mm -hmm. I approach it in a, in a different way, I think, a more objective way. Mm -hmm. You don't agree with that? No, I just think it's interesting mm -hmm. because he, he, you act, he acts in his own sketches that he writes, but maybe for the drama it feels differently. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that I get a script, I didn't write it, so I don't think about all the choices that weren't made. Mm -hmm. I only look at what choices were made by the writers, finally, and then I work with those, and I think I, I just... Um, I, I have a better process that way as mm -hmm. an actor. Mm -hmm. Okay, as you know, the second season ended up with this double betrayal between the McGill brothers, McGill's yes. brothers. So this has an impact in, on your relationship. Right. Um, can we expect a um, deep crisis between both of you, even in the professional aspect? Well, I certainly think that they, ha Jimmy and Kim, have to face individually the repercussions of what he did to Chuck, or as Chuck perceives it, it was an action that was done to him um, and his firm. Uh, but then also, uh, yes, as a, as a couple, they are now complicit in a crime of accepting this case. Yeah, but that's a good thing. They're complicit in a crime. Yeah, they are. Yeah. <laughs> They're definitely glued Stay together. close to your most loved one. Commit a crime right? together. Mm. Right. And, uh, it's a saying, right? Commit yeah, crimes together, commit a crime stay together. together. It's common wisdom. Eat to, pie together, yeah. commit crimes together, yeah. stay together. Well, That's how we, it goes. Uh, the cu this couple, uh, Jimmy and Kim, have a very, I think, a very good relationship in this second, uh, third season of the show. Mm -hmm. It has its fault lines, but they're on each other's side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you do see them both. Be, uh, they continue to have each other's back, but there's a price to pay for that. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> and here's like the big question because everybody was mm -hmm. wondering um, when was it coming? Mm. Uh, the right moment for Jimmy to turn into soul. soul yeah. And this is going to happen in the third season, right? In the third season, uh, this character who's progressing to become Saul Goodman makes some very big steps in that direction. Um, 
Vince Gilligan created Breaking Bad, and he also created this show along with Peter Gould. So the same writers from Breaking Bad are constructing this world of Better Call Saul, and they um, have a cer certain pattern, if you've watched, where they set things up, and then they start to knock down the dominoes and move things faster. And in the third season, things start to move a little bit faster towards Saul Goodman, especially the second half of the season. And then I assume if we do a fourth or fifth season, it will all just come tumbling down around him. So I don't, it's a slow process of building up and then it moves quickly. Mm -hmm. yeah. And of course, we have seen uh, other characters from Breaking Bad, like Tuco, Mike, or yes, Hector Salamanca. Yes, and more to come. Uh -huh. More in yeah. season three, there are more characters, including tonight, mm -hmm. uh, secondary characters from Breaking Bad. Mm -hmm. But tonight, in tonight's episode that will play, uh, you will see new faces from Breaking Bad. Yes. Like Gus Fringe, for example. Do I guess yeah. well, Gus Fringe? There's also some other people that I think Breaking Bad fans will be very excited to see uh, on Moby Star Plus tonight. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> so we're going to get more surprises and nuts like this, right? Yes. yes. More characters from Breaking Bad. The, the timeline of our show, Better Call Saul, is getting closer because it's a prequel to the time of Breaking Bad. Mm -hmm. So as we get closer to it, more of the characters from Breaking Bad come mm -hmm. back and circle around our little world. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's fun because they are also five, six years, you know, four to five years, four to six years, I guess, right? Prior mm -hmm. to when you see them in Breaking yeah, Bad. So you get to see their stories yeah. before Breaking Bad as well as, mm -hmm. as well as you get to see a lot of excellent work by the makeup department trying to make <laughs> everyone look 10 years younger. I can imagine while I'm a lot I'm of sure. work, a lot I'm of machines. Sure. Well, I'm, I'm sure, sure it's not that hard. Come on. Um, they, they do some fun yeah. tricks. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sherry Montesanto has some amazing machines mm. that tighten yeah. people's skin. Yeah, it was it's pretty a fun. lot of work. We mm -hmm. have, mm -hmm. you know, we do play <laughs> ourselves as younger and so do all these guest actors mm -hmm. coming back. But I do think they do a wonderful job. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sure. And great lighting. <laughs> yeah, that's very important. Because <laughs> you can see. OK, uh, it's important to say there's no need to have watched Breaking Bad to enjoy Better Call Soul. Mm -hmm. But just in case there's someone who haven't watched the show yet, um, why they shouldn't miss it? Uh, why shouldn't they miss it? Yeah. Watching Better Call Saul Better or Breaking Soul. Bad? Better Call Saul. Better Call Saul. <laughs> yes. Well, uh, yes, there are a lot of people actually out there believe it or not, who haven't seen Breaking Bad. Uh, mi madre is one, <laughs> my mother. Um, she has not seen it. And uh, you can totally enjoy the mm -hmm. show. Uh, I think Better Call Saul. And now, you know, with places like Moby Star Plus, being able to um, binge watch mm -hmm. and start it, you could start our, our show tomorrow from the beginning and still catch up. Um, I do think it's a, it, it's a very fun experience if you know Breaking Bad, mm -hmm. but it is an enjoyable story even without that. You mm -hmm. can watch it from the beginning. Because if you have a brother in your life, uh, you should watch Better Call Saul. True. <laughs> <laughs> sure. A brother like Chuck or a yeah. brother like Or Bo. just yeah. any yeah. brother. Whatever. You're going to have some rivalry there right. and there's going to be something to okay. relate to. Right. Okay, as you know, we have this yes. present. We have to do this for before Excellent. you go. Wow. For the wow. fans. And poster. it will be our I honor. I love it. Yeah. Wow. This is going to be a uh, cool. draw for the, for the fans. Oh, um, great. So don't write it to Christina. <laughs> no, no, oh my God, can you imagine? Oh. Great, thank wow, you. And look now at that. You. That thing's so cool. It's beautiful, right? I love it. Oh, that's you, huh? <laughs> that's him. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. It was thank amazing you for having, having us. Thanks for having thank us. you. Thank you so much. Y ahora os dejamos con las razones por las que creemos que Saul Goodman está en el Olimpo de los personajes de ficción.